So just like searching, we have to come along here and say protected function and say what it is filterable by. And in this example, oh, by the way, let's remove category up here. We don't want to be able to search by category. So let's say it's filterable by title, it's filterable by the body, and it's also filterable by created at. And I might as well throw in there updated at as well. So let's save that. And I might as well do this in one line. And now we have the power to filter by all of those columns. So let's come back to Postman and start playing around with this. So we can say here, filters. That's how we use filters. And this is going to be an array because you can actually filter it by multiple things. So let's start by saying the field. And the field we want to filter it by in this example is the title. We can also say the operator. We actually have to say the operator. And that will be equals. And then we'll say the value. And let's say Laravel. No, not Laravel because the titles are random here. Let's just choose a title. How about one with the word in in it? Where the value is equal to in. So now let's go ahead and run that. And we get no results there. What have I done wrong? Oh, sorry, I'm doing an equals to here, which means it has to be that exact value. So let's come back to index, run this, and we can see if the value is equal to that exactly. So let's come back here. And it works. So behind the scenes, this is exactly the same as saying where, in fact, let me do the whole query, post where title is equal to and the value being equal to that. So that is the exact same thing. And then of course, calling, calling get on that or something like that. Another example would be published. So this is actually a great example of where you would use published. We can say where published is equal to and how about we just write in there, true. So if I send that through, oh, it's letting us know that we have not allowed the publish field, which is good. Thanks for letting us know, Orion. We come back here and say, yes, you can filter by the published field. Run that. And now it's just going to show us published posts. How cool is that? Or maybe you're the admin and you just wanna see unpublished posts and it's just going to send us the unpublished ones now. Super, super handy. And by the way, you can go one step further here. Let's just copy that. I can filter it and I can search it at the same time. So we can say, for example, run me a search and the value is going to be equal to QUI. So basically this value here. So I want you to look for all of the posts that are published, that are, sorry, that are not published and I want you to search for QUI on those. So let's run that and it works. So we got QUI here, scroll down and you'll notice that it's here as well. It's done, a, I just think that is so cool that we can add all of that functionality together within the API itself. Super flexible, super handy. All right, so let's get rid of that for now. What else can we do? Well, we can do date stuff as well. So how about we say we're created at is greater than, and then we'll just choose one of these exact dates here. Paste that in. And that's not going to return any values, but how about we say equal to? And there we go, it gives us the post where the created at field is equal to that exact value. In fact, how about we go ahead and create another post just so we can test this properly. I think that'd be fun. So let's say post create here. Oh, I have to use the factory post factory create. And now let's have a look at the date on that. So this is when it was created. Oh, actually we want to have the time as well. Oh no, that's got the time included in it. So let's copy that, come back to Postman and we can check where created at is equal to that value. And there we go. We get that post or we can just change that from a nine to an eight. So we're just subtracting a second and say where it's greater than that value. Yeah, just to show you that that works too, you can filter things by date. So then you could say, just give me the dates even like within the past month. You could add two filters there in order to do that. Now what else can we do? Ah, how about ID in? This would be super handy. So we can say where the ID is in 
and then send through an array of IDs. So maybe you've got some posts on the front end and you just want to grab those posts. Maybe you want a fresh copy of a few posts that you have, or maybe you've only got the IDs of some posts and you wanna to go to the back end and get those posts. So let's come in here, send that through. We've got an ID of one, and let's get one with an ID of four and six. So how about one, four, and six? One, four, six. Send that through. Up, oh, and once again, Orion is doing us a favor here by saying the ID field has not been whitelisted. So let's come back in here and add it onto the list. And there we go, send that through. And now we can grab the post by ID. Super handy. Another great example would be categories. Just give me the categories that are equal to Laravel Orion. So Laravel Orion, let's say equal to, and change this to category. Give me all of the posts with the category is equal to Laravel Orion. Send that through. Once again, we need to make sure that that's whitelisted. So we'll come here and whitelist it, category, send that through again, and it works. And just to sort of drive this home, let's say not equals. So we can say where the category is anything but Laravel Orion. So now we get Laravel tips and a few other categories, but not Laravel Orion. Oh, and one more thing I definitely need to show you is that we can use OR operators. So behind the scenes here, if I were to say where the category is equal to Laravel Orion, and the category is equal to, how about Laravel tips? Let's run that through. That's going to give us no results because in between here, we have an implied and. So this is like saying category is equal to Laravel Orion and it's equal to Laravel tips. Now, obviously that's going to give us no results because it can't have two categories at the same time. So basically we want a way of saying where the category is equal to Laravel Orion or it's equal to Laravel tips. Doing that is really simple. We just need to add type. So the type of this query of this filter is going to be an or operator. So let me get rid of that comment, otherwise it won't work. Send that through. And now we get all the categories that are equal to Laravel Orion and the categories that are equal to Laravel tips. That is really, really cool that we've got that extra little bit of functionality and it shows that the creator has really thought things through here. So that's it for filters. Let's move on to sorting.